This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Get 30% off on being first 200 sign-ups. Get the link from description. Hello everyone, welcome to the new video of Educate WordPress. This channel is exclusively devoted to teaching WordPress. And today we are going to learn to add a chat button to provide our visitors an unmatched site experience. This is a chat and share button. And we are going to learn how to add this type of button to our website. So let's begin. Search for buttonizer and click on the buttonizer.pro. And click on create a free account to create a free account for yourself. And type in the domain name on which you want your button or share or chat button. So for my site, it is educatewp.azro.com. I'll go and paste it here. Then you have to type in your name and your email address where you will get the verification email. After you clicked on get started, it will ask you to pick a template. So I'll go with the basic social media one. And now, as you can see, it is showing me a screenshot and how my button will look like on my site. And here you can edit your buttons, like on menu button, what you want to slow, what will be its label. Label is basically the text that will show when someone over over it. I will show you when it is published. You can go to home and add Facebook button. So you can add the username or page where it will go to. You can add your TikTok, Snapchat, WhatsApp chat. You can add your number. So here you can add your phone number. It will automatically direct the visitor to that number. You can even add Instagram, Twitter page, line button. And you can add a button of your own. So I'll add a Telegram button. You just have to select it and type in your username that you want to add. I, for now, I will leave it blank. You can change its label. Just like that. It will save it automatically. You can hit on publish. You can change its style. And when you hit on publish, it will give you options like integrate buttonizer on WordPress. If you are using a Shopify, it will also integrate with Shopify and send an email instruction to my developer if you are not the one building your own site. And this is the code which you can directly paste on your theme settings. I will show you how to do it. So for now, I'll hit on finish. And now go to your dashboard, WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins and click on add new and now install buttonizer click on install now And after that, click on activate. Uh, 
After activation, you will see it on your left navigation menu in the bottom. Click on Buttonizer. Then click on Start using Buttonizer. Now enter the password. As of now, we have not created any password, so you have to create a new one. Click on Set Password and click on Finish on Body. And now the button is already added to your site. You can click on Edit Buttons and it will redirect you to the Buttonizer page. After that, when you will go to your website, you will see this button already added to it. This is the one way you can add that button to your website. And you can customize it directly from here. Or you can also customize it in Buttonizer's own page. Whichever method you will prefer, the settings will remain same. But if for some reason you are not able to add this button to your site, I will show you the other way through editing your theme page. So for that, we will first go to our dashboard. We disconnect it. Just making sure that the button disappears. So now we have to install a plugin that can alter the theme files. So for that, I'll have to add a new plugin. Basically, this plugin WP code. This is a simple plugin that can add code snippets to your website wherever you want. So I'll use it to add a code snippet in my footer. Click on activate. Now after activating, you will see it in your left navigation menu in the bottom. And go to code snippets. And here click on add new. Go with the add your custom code and I'll give it a title buttonizer and for the code you can head over to the buttonizer dashboard click on edit button and beside publish you will see an arrow Click on integrate button either and here, here you will see the code just copy it from here and go to your dashboard and code preview paste it and in location you have to select site wide footer And then hit on save snippet. Change its code type to universal snippet so that it doesn't show any error. Click on update again. Now activate the snippet. Now head over to your page and refresh and you will see that button is added. This is the other way you can add the button if the WordPress plugin doesn't work out well for you. 
and to customize it you have to go to your buttonizer account and from here only you can customize it you cannot use the plugin now and you can change its styling also you can change the buttons icon just like menu button i can click on edit go to style and in icon i can add a different icon if i want so i will go with this one and select and hit on publish and my main icon will be changed i can change its over color and themes also in advanced setting you can add custom class and custom id but this is for pro users only so for that you have to buy its subscription and for each of the option you can edit it the same way so this is how you can add your own chat option and share option as a button to your website and that's all hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate wordpress thank you